let us see about IGBT so IGBT it is insulated gate bipolar transistor as the name suggest insulated gate comes from MOSFET because MOSFET has a gate terminal which is insulated from the rest of the parts so this helps MOSFET to have high input impedance so which in turn simplifies the drive circuit that is the major advantage of a MOSFET and this second part comes from the bipolar junction transistor BJT so IGBT is nothing but it has the combination of both MOSFET and BJT and this IGBT has the input characteristics of this MOSFET so it includes the GERD terminal of the MOSFET and output characteristics of BJT that is the collector and emitter terminals so it combines the advantage of both MOSFET and BJT structure of IGBT it is similar to that of a MOSFET except that uh, one uh, P plus collector region so normally in MOSFET you have uh, one N plus substrate here but in IGBT it is replaced by P plus region so to take this uh, terminals out a metallic contact is made here then this N minus layer is the drift region and this is P type body and here uh, N plus regions which forms the emitted terminal are uh, made here so this is the SiO2 layer which separates the gate from the rest of the structure so to take the gate terminal out you have this metallic contact and to take emitter terminal out make metallic contact then give the connections so as long as the gate uh, there is no gate voltage no current will flow no channel will be formed so when you apply the gate voltage till threshold value channel will not be created so once um, threshold value is exceeded uh, current starts to flow so in a MOSFET you have a parasitic transistor and um, it will be usually represented by an anti-parallel diode similar to that in IGBT you have two transistors because you have N P N so this is one transistor another one is P N P so two transistors are there so this structure uh, where the two transistors are connected back to back uh, is uh, actually a thyristor so with that we have studied in, in a SCR two transistor model so the problem of the thyristor is that if it uh, goes into latching state it will create a problem because it is not possible to turn off a latched uh, thyristor so in the design of IGBT this is made uh, sure that this thyristor does not enter into latching state the steady state characteristics of um, IGBT so first is the transfer characteristics which includes the combination of input and output parameters so this is the IGBT so input terminal is a gate or this gate emitter voltage is the input parameter and the output parameter is the collector current so you plot the graph between these two so uh, as you increase the gate voltage till threshold value there will be no collector current once it exceeds the threshold value current will increase so this characteristics is similar to that of a MOSFET input characteristics is similar to that of a MOSFET next is output characteristics it is similar to that of a BJT so we can see that uh, here the controlling parameter is uh, voltage 
so it is a voltage control device so you have three regions active region saturation and cutoff region so to act as a switch it will be operated either in saturation region or cutoff region in active region power dissipation will be more so it is not preferred in power electronics next is the switching characteristics again you have two parameters uh, voltage uh, this is the input voltage and you are drawing for output current and output voltage so as you apply the input voltage so the voltage rises slowly so till threshold value actually no current will flow so till threshold value current will be almost uh, the leakage current only will be flowing so once it exceeds the threshold value current will increase abruptly and it reaches its final value ic so that is given by the delay period and rise time so this is the total turn on time so as the current increases voltage has to reduce so this shows the voltage curve and this is the conduction period and after that when you remove the gate pulse voltage starts to discharge slowly and till it reaches the threshold value current will be there or current will slowly decrease from 100 percentage to 90 percentage so that is the delay period so off time delay period then after that uh, during tf1 that is the fall time one current falls from 90 percentage to 20 percentage and uh, uh, for during fall time two it uh, falls from 20 percentage to 10 percentage at the same time the voltage starts to build up so this is the switching characteristics so off time has three time intervals safe operating area give you the uh, limits under which you can operate the device safely so igbd has two safe operating areas uh, that is for under um, forward bias condition and under reverse bias condition so if you see the forward bias um, uh, safe operating area so it has three limits uh, this is the forward voltage drop uh, limits this is the power dissipation limit and this is the voltage limit so this is given by uh, the on state resistance uh, of the device so if you operate in this region uh, the drop may be very high due to the on state resistance so it is normally prefer to operate uh, uh, within this area and these uh, seconds indicates the pulse width for a lower pulse width you can have a higher region and reverse of operating area so these are dv by dt limits so if it is a low value you have more area and as the dv by dt increases your area has to reduce for safe operation so the points to remember here are, are it is a igbt is a voltage control device there is no secondary breakdown problem and the gate drive requirement is low and it has low switching losses and it has positive temperature coefficient and it can be used for high frequency applications but uh, uh, it is lower than that of a MOSFET but higher than that of a PGT and in most of the application nowadays um, IGBTs are replacing BJT though it is costlier than BJT so these are some of the references if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle thank you